Hey, my beautiful friends. Thanks for tuning in. So I recently asked in a video um, if you had any questions for me. I wanted to do a Q&A as part of my Veda. And a few of you sent me questions on Instagram. I also asked on Instagram. And so I got about 12 questions. I'm going to try to make this video nice and short and sweet. So let's get right to it. Okay. So the first question is, what's your routine like? Or what would it look like for a two and a half or three year old? So for me, uh, my advice for a mama that is starting up for homeschool um, is definitely consistency. It's not so much of what time you start in the day or, um, you know, how much you do or, you know, if they don't get anything done. It's more like consistency. And um, I know that if you put out some learning activities for them, they'll do them. As long as they see them there, they'll gravitate toward them. So preparing um being prepared and consistency is key not so much a routine it's more fun learning at that age um, lots of read aloud and um consistency that is my advice for a starting mama um and if you have more than one child usually they kind of follow you and you just have to be prepared with, with activities for them so that they let you teach the older kids but in this case my friend melina she has one little girl so for her, I would say consistency, um, fun learning, lots of reading. That's kind of what it looks like. Okay, so what's your favorite thing to do for fun? This was sweet from my dear uh, friend Shalice. Um, and she said, other than talking to her. <laughs> I love that. So for me, my favorite thing to do for fun, believe it or not, um, it's just going out for like coffee, like an iced coffee. Um, and window shopping or like I love Marshalls. I love um, home. Um, what is it? Home goods um, Shopping <laughs> is fun for me um, And uh, I don't do movies um, as much maybe once a year literally um, so I can't say movies and at nighttime if it's at home, I would say you know catching up with my favorite YouTube channel or um maybe watching a TV show because I do like some TV shows um, and I love right now on Netflix I am like in love with the um, our blue like blue planet or our planet there's so many nature um, shows right now on Netflix and I love the whole Discovery Channel thing so yeah so that's my fun thing <laughs> uh, okay sorry uh, question number three how do you teach reading so this is my second child that I'm teaching to read. I'm still new at this, um, and especially if your children have different styles of learning. Um, but I love the phonics method. There are different methods, so I use the phonics method, um, letter recognition, letter sounds, um, you know, CVC words, um, blending, and stuff like that. Um, and I throw in some sight words in there too as well as a well, part of it. Um, how I teach reading, I guess I would say, I use different activities, like activities, hands-on, depending on your child's, of, depending how your child likes to learn. My kids like hands-on activities, so, um, you know, for Jonah, different, I use different um, printouts that help me um, with teaching him CVC words and sight words. Um, I'm using a current curriculum called Learning Language Arts Through Literature for Jonah. For JL, I had used Horizons when I was starting, um, and also um, there was a like a big workbook that I was using. It was it's not on the market right now because it was a long time ago. But also, it was one of those like com comprehensive, complete homeschool curriculums and one book kind of thing. <laughs> um, if that made sense. But um, I was also teaching him using like Bob books. I usually I use Bob books a lot, but just fun learn like fun reading. And um, and basically consistency, but it's a lot of work to teach a child how to read. Um, so for me, it's just taking advice from other mamas, um, watching videos on how other mothers, mamas do it, and uh, just stay in the course. Like I just keep going with Jonah right now. He's learning his CVCs and sight words, and um, sometimes I get a little like, oh, is this gonna work? Is is this is he gonna learn? <laughs> Um, and then he shows me that he is learning. So just stay in the course and um, lots of practice and patience. That's kind of where I am right now. Like I said, I'm still learning. Um, okay, next question. Um, how did you find your way to start off when you had your first school age child? 
So how do I find my way to start off? Um, so basically for me, JL um, was in kindergarten when I started and he is now in fourth grade. Um, so for me, um, I had the support of my husband and he was pretty much rooting me on. Um, I had gone to like a conference at that time. It was a homeschool conference in my area. That was such an encouragement for me because I saw other moms there, how they did it. Um, I, the speakers were amazing, amazing, encouraging. Um, and, and then I had a community already for my church. So I had my community already for my church. I had a community of friends that were homeschooling. And it was just kind of like taking a leap of faith at that point. Um, so yeah. If you don't have a conference by you or um, if you haven't found your community, don't give up. It, it will come. Um, and um, it's just a leap of faith. Take that leap of faith and just watch lots of videos here on YouTube. It's such a blessing because you have a community on YouTube um, watching how other mamas do it. it. It encourages you because you're like, okay, I'm not alone. Okay, I, I could do this. I got this. If they could do it, I could do it, you know, kind of thing. So um, that's kind of what I can answer for that question. Okay, so how did you meet your husband? This was a sweet question for my dear friend Joy. So um, the short story, <laughs> it was um, at a funeral. His uncle had passed away and he came down from Puerto Rico for the funeral. And for me and my husband, it was almost like love at first sight because we saw each other and it was like we did a, a double take. <laughs> Um, and I'm a woman of faith. I was praying at this point that the next person that would enter my life and into my heart, that that would be the one for me. And I was praying hard for my husband um, because I had gone through a bad experience before that. So I would say um, that, oh, and this goes with Michelle's question. <laughs> That's why I'm answering like that. Because she said how... Um, Michelle asks also, um, how long did I know till my husband was the one? So because I was praying so hard, um, and I guess these two questions go together, um, it was just trusting in the Lord that this was the one. Also, so many things were coming into, into, uh, place at that moment. Um, we were both at a, at a moment that we wanted to start a family. We both had that main goal in mind that we were ready to settle and that we were ready to start a family. And we both had the same faith where we believed in marriage that it's from God, that it is a blessing from the Lord. And we all, both knew the, I guess, the sacred part of marriage, that marriage was sacred and it was important in the eyes of the lord and that we were going to be committed we both went in there um just kind of like those same beliefs you know so i knew he was the one because it was just an answered prayer i felt like the lord was leading me to him he felt like the lord was leading me to him and um and it was just wonderful like and i'm gonna say with this that marriage is hard and it's two worlds coming together there is no perfect marriage ever um and you just make it work you forgive each other you work at it hard and you love hard so yeah that's my answer to those questions <laughs> okay additional answers too all right so the next question did you grow up in a christian home yes i did grow up my mother was a woman of faith she was a prayer warrior um, my father not so much he kind of joined in after um a few years after and um i grew up in a christian home but it was it wasn't sound theology it was we believed in jesus we believed in god we went to church but it was it was different than what it is now where i am now so um yes i grew up in a christian home but I would say that I became a true father of Jesus after when I was older. So, yes. Okay, so next question. Did I always plan to homeschool? That's the next question. Um, I didn't because I didn't see that I had talent for it or that I could do it. My husband had the vision first. Um, so I didn't plan, but he did. He, when JL was a couple of years old, maybe three years old, he was looking into it and we had a desire i always had a desire to be a stay-at-home mom and uh when i was able to be a stay-at-home mom he said you gotta do this you gotta homeschool and it was more his um push than mine i just didn't think i could do it to be honest 
So once I did it, it was amazing. Like God is good, but he gave me the wisdom. He gave me the strength, but I would say my husband had more plans than me. He, he was the one. Next question for my dear friend, Valerie, what made you want to homeschool? And this also go with, goes with another question for my dear friend, Abby. What motivated me? What motivated me? So what made me start homeschool? Again, um, my husband's push. Um, but I, I would say that after he pushed me and I started seeing how other mamas do it, how simple it was in the sense that you have resources at the tips of your hands. Um, and I would say what motivated me was what just watching other moms. Um, at that point, I wasn't in YouTube. I was uh, looking at vlogs, like finding vlogs, and then my church family also, lots of moms motivated me there, and they gave me the push that I needed. Um, but I would say that just watching other moms, um, seeing that I was not gonna be the only one at that time, and that um, once I started, it was like, I this is great, I can do this. I, I felt so at peace. Um, it was like an answered prayer because I wanted to feel at peace. I felt like I couldn't do it. And then once I started, it was like, okay, I could do this. I felt at peace. So yes. Next one. Will I take a break from homeschool when the baby comes? So if you knew, I am expecting a baby in August. I would say end of July. Um, so August and July, I'm taking a break from homeschool because that's our summer break. So I would typically start in September, like the beginning of September. And the baby will be probably like a month. So at that point, I'm going to have grace on myself and just try the best I can to start on our homeschool journey again um, and just see how it goes. I, this will be my first time, I would say, homeschooling older grades um, with lots more curriculum with a baby. <laughs> so it's a total learning experience for me. Um, so I wouldn't say I would take a break. I would say I would just give myself some grace and just take day by day and see where I can find my rhythm. So I already thought that what I can do is instead of having to do this whole routine where we go downstairs to our homeschool room and everybody works independent or, you know, I have it set up that way, that I would work individually with the child. So I will have my one hour with JL, my one hour with Jonah throughout the day, my half an hour with JJ. So that's kind of how, what I'm thinking. It won't look so much of a structured time or a structured space. It would just look like throughout the day, just take that one hour for each child kind of thing. So that's where I am with that. And I think this is the last question. What do you use for Bible study? So this is a great question. Um, my church does um, prayers that I, I love to go to. I don't always make it to go to the prayers. So what I use is the Bible app. I have the Bible app on my phone. Um, I have devotionals, I have books that I use, that I go into. There is a Bible study at my church um, that the ladies do. It's more like a book study, but it's such a blessing because each book is always so bi like Christ-centered, Bible-based. So if it's like a Bible study. And um, and I, my husband, <laughs> I'm constantly asking my husband, my friends, we share um, devotionals with each other and we ask questions to each other. So I would say my Bible app and my husband and my friends are kind of like my Bible study buddies kind of thing. So that's it, you guys. Those are my questions. I hope that I answered them right. I was interrupted a few times, but that's mom life. Um, and I hope I didn't miss anybody. If I missed your question, please forgive me because I realized when I was asking on Instagram that um, it wasn't showing me the questions. I had to go to a spot to find them. <laughs> so I really hope that I didn't miss any questions. Um, and if you still have more questions, you can throw them in the comments down below. Um, and if you wanna talk to me, again, in the comments down below, talk to me, chit chat. Um, I hope that I had resonated with anybody out there that's listening. And um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.